Hello. In today's uh, session, we are going to cover one of the most important building blocks of Avaya OD, which is variables. So variables is kind of a hidden in the call flows. We don't see it, right? But this is the one of the important where it uh, assists us to transfer the journey to have uh, decision making and all those things. Okay. Uh, as per the OD module, uh, this is chapter number 16. But uh, we are going here and there with respect to our call flow, which we have over here. And we have covered so far the um, welcome prompt, it's like announce prompt and menu, uh, prompt and collect and grammar. Now we are into user variable. So now, first of all, to use any variable, right? We have to create it uh, and declare also. So over here in the project, right? If you go to your folder flow, you will see project variable. So if you double click over here, you will see few predefined variables already been created. Okay. Uh, these are like session variables and the variables, which let's say menu you have created. So it will have its own <clears throat> predefined uh, uh, variables, which is part of a complex variable. Now there are two type of variables. One is a simple variable. You can see over here. Another one is the complex variable. Simple variable is like normal we have, right? Let's say a string with the value. So that's a simple variable. Complex variable you can get, say as like a map uh, where this parent will be acting as the entry point. So let's say if I give it untitled, let's say map. Okay. And now if you want to add anything inside of that, right? So let's say already one is there and you can add more field to that. Right. So let's say uh, for example, uh, audio, right? So audio one. So this is part of the same group. So that's why you create over like that. Similarly, audio two or something like that. You can create anything, but let's say we are not using, so remove it. Now, as per our call flow, we have a requirement for user selections. Okay, so we will create a simple variable. Just click and drag and drop over here, simple variable, and we will remove any white space. That's it over here. Now, once you have defined it, right? And now what we want to do in our call flow. So this is the call flow so far we have created. We want to use data tag. Okay. So connecting from here to here connected. So let's say we will assign uh, main menu something like that okay now if you go inside of this one you can use uh, condition variables and all those things so let's say if we use conditional variable and what we will check is some equal ignore case okay now what was the menu name it was main menu and what we will check is value okay so this is a value and there is a utterance and there is a confidence course is also there which you can leverage also input mode it is a speech input or ttmf input confidence like if it is a speech input right what is the confidence at which a user has spoken based on that you can have confirmation prompt or not over there how many no many no input try or no match try user had before moving over here before providing the valid user input utterance is before predefined grammar right so what user have said that will come over here but we will be using value okay so let's say value is uh, constant uh, we will use or you can assign or check against any of the variable also so if you select over here you can get all the variables which you have created so account unlock is that AC we have given or is it uh, let me just cross verify uh, AC account unlock we have given AC so we will go to the data tag 
okay go inside of it and ac okay now what we have to do is assign so we will perform the operation and there is else also right and there is a operation we have to perform like what time of upfront we are going to assign right what we are going to assign assign user selection and we can either use the variable <clears throat> or uh, we can use the uh, constant right so we can put something like uh, constant like account unlock okay and similarly over here in the L section it was password reset right now what we have to do is assign the next to it and one more next where is the next over here okay so we will name it as uh, account unlock let's say AC is the name and password reset is password reset PR okay so that's the work we have to do over there with respect to assigning a variable and based on that uh, uh, you have the necessary if and else actions which is again that's why we are doing it now coming back over here you will see that we have now ac and pr like two output what is the input which is given by the user and based on that what is the next output so accordingly as per our call flow if you go uh, since it is a valid input uh, we will have two prompt sections right one we will attach over here um, okay so let me show one more thing this is symbolic node okay so symbolic node is kind of a, a pointer which we have in C++ right <laughs> if you are familiar with it so it's kind of a pointer or uh, in Unix uh, we have something called uh, soft link here yeah. so it's kind of a, a that well let's say if you have two unknowns from okay so this is let's say if you give the name as uh, account unlock prompt right and this is password reset prompt okay now what you can do just to uh, make the whole call flow within the same visible pane right this is, this is a visible area that you have and you don't want to go beyond this area right you can create this one over here there is no restriction so what will happen you have to do the scroll and all those things which we don't advise right it is more cleaner in this way so what we will do now if you select this node right you can select as this is a AC prompt and this is as PR prompt password reset prompt now what you will see here, once you select is pointing to this one and this one pointing to over here so its whole uh, link is done internally you don't have to worry about it just that it will make your whole call flow or the visibility quite good uh, yeah so far for this one on this particular module right where we are talking about the variable is high level at high level this is the area uh, one more point if you want to cover is let's say uh, check the variables with respect to let's say if I put something like that I will delete it later on okay so let's say if I put one more if condition right so over here if you want to perform let's say anything with respect to session variable right so you can go to the session and you can check for let's say the what is the phone number what is the dns uh, what is the application to application information ai usually we pass the ucid through that what is the session details ucid uui those details are also here and various parameter which you usually get from your AB platform once the call received over here. Uh, 
so yeah that is one more information with respect to variable uh, which you can leverage in your core flow um yeah that's all from today's session if you have any question or query please put it in the comment section thank you